Titanic gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here and while I was taking a few days hiatus, um, taking care of a couple things, I ordered something, something interesting on Amazon. I was thinking about doing a box opening, but I wanted to check on it first. I was like, oof, I wanted to try out the controller. I wanted to see how uh, it felt. Now, I didn't try this with the game. We're going to do that live here uh, as part of the video, but that's the video. This is the video of this controller. Whoops. So that's the controller. I ordered it from Amazon. It's a pro controller for end switch is what they call it. It's one of those. Yeah, see, nothing really fancy, but that's the controller. So I posted a picture of this on Amazon. It says it works for Android as well or something else. I, I don't know, but when I got it, it said it was only for Nintendo Switch. That's fine. And it's kind of an interesting shape. The shape really reminds me of the um, of the Brawler 64. It has that, that body feeling if you have one of those. Just the, the shell is kind of like that with the triggers. It feels a lot like that. So the sticks are nice. Uh, everything about it. The thing is that really clacky the, the sticks are really smooth the d-pad again that d-pad feels a lot like uh the brawler gens these these this is my second controller that i bought that felt like it was almost a ripoff from a brawler gen the other one was a nyko um i featured that in one of the videos that i did god knows how long ago but yeah i bought it because the I've been watching this one for a while. Originally, it just came in yellow, and I don't like yellow. Yellow is each color for accessories and stuff. Not a fan. So I saw it in black, and I was like, okay. And I like the fact that it had the GameCube button layouts. So I was like, price went down. It was originally like twenty-five bucks or thirty bucks. And I was like, nah, that's that's too much. So it went down, dropped to 19 and I was like all right I'll give it a shot and I'll do a little video for you guys see what you guys think so that and that now let's go test this out all righty everybody so we're gonna test this out now I did find out a couple things while syncing the the controller um it's a weird type of sync you have to go into the the grip order like you normally would you hit the home button in order to turn it on, and then you hold B to sync. Odd. And another thing is, it can only be used wireless. If you go to plug it in while you're playing it, or to charge it while you're playing it, it doesn't work. The lights will just go back and forth. So, uh, if you can see the lights right there, yeah, they just go up and down, up and down, up and down. It does not work while you're playing. So, I decided, uh, let's play some fast RMX. That's something that uses quite a few of the buttons, gets some real good use out of the, the sticks and the triggers. So, let's give this a shot. Okay. Subsonic. Uh, let's just go with the, the first track. I'll go with Mueller. 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 So, grip, it actually feels pretty good. I'm holding it pretty close to the mic so you guys can hear the sound that the buttons make. So, and that will determine whether or not you find it rather. Three, two, one. Okay. So, as you see, it's. It, ah! The sticks are pretty good. Pretty responsive here. Okay. It, it makes it easy to. Whoops. So, this. Let's 
Switch. Now, if you guys have never played this game, this is a really cool race game. Uh, F-Zero-ish. Wipeout-ish. So, this is... I I'm going to play pretty crappy. Because I want to see how each of the buttons go. So. Trigger's very nice. No clacking noises for the triggers. Go down. So you... Uh, oh, shoulder buttons. Uh, I'm pressing the R for the boost. And they are pretty clacky. Alright, not bad. Not bad. And even though when I took it out of the box, the X and Y buttons sounded pretty clacky, they're not during play. The only oh, one that awesome. is pretty clacky is the A button. B is okay. So maybe this wasn't the best one to pick in terms of the A button because most racing games you're usually pressing A or the R trigger to, to accelerate. Wow, you even after testing this control arm in the fourth place. Just fiddling around with it. Not even trying. Maybe I should try for the fun. Woo! Doggy! So, yeah, this controller isn't that bad. I, I zoned off there into this game. I really like this game. I haven't played it in a little while, but it's, it's definitely a very good game. You reached second. Ah, second place. I haven't played it in a while, I'm sick in the second half to put it around the controller. So, that's the A button. That's the B button. X button. Y button. D-pad, not too bad. D-pad's pretty soft on the finger. So, um, besides the noise it makes, this is actually a pretty good controller. This is not a bad controller whatsoever. I am pretty, pretty shot. Pretty shot. So, this is, sorry. That's the box. I pulled the box out. You guys saw the box already. Let me close it back up. So, again, close up the box. Um... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna drop a link to this in the in the description. No, they aren't um, sponsoring anything. I'm not even sure who Big Giant is, but pretty cool controller. Like I said, it comes in yellow and black. Uh, I was expecting this to be trash because it looks so cool. I've been watching it for so long, and I was like, this thing is gonna be pretty. Long. But for 20 bucks, wireless, it does have its drawbacks. Um, I did not feel any rumble during the game, which was weird, but it does have rumble because it did do rumble when uh, I synced it. So, yeah, and it uses standard rumble, not the HD rumble, but for a point off price tag, it's not too shabby. I would definitely, definitely recommend this controller if you want something inexpensive, wireless, and gives you that nostalgia bone feeling with the, with the GameCube. Uh, button placement, but still feels like a, a pro controller. Nifty, nifty design. Go ahead. Uh, if if you don't mind dropping twenty bucks on just an extra controller or something fun to play with, it, it's it's not bad, not bad. Besides the clacking noises, uh, the little issue with the the pairing and the the charging. Otherwise, not too shabby. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you want to check it out, like I said, I'll drop the link in uh, the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Head on over to our website, redbandanagaming.com. Remember, head on over to our Teespring, grab some shirts, grab some socks, grab some posters, grab some tights, and wear you some RBG tights. You, you, you do that. You do that. Hey, we got stuff for everybody. But thank you guys for watching. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.